quite honestly, I was terribly afraid of the whole birth process. And no matter what I did, actually looking back now, no matter what I did, no matter how many meditations I had, no matter how many, um, uh, discussions I had with my doula and, and who was also a coach actually. And she was like my coach in this incredible woman who was really holding space for me during some of these like really big emotions. And mind you, I lost my mom when I was 16 and there was definitely a lot of reconciling and reckoning in that losing, well, my mom at 16, my dad at 19. And so the fact that I wasn't going to have my parents in this process was something I, I had to reconcile that was definitely coming up during this stage where I was starting to change and commit to, okay, we're, we're actually going to say no to our OB and we're going to say, okay, we're going to have backup OB, but things were starting to get real. Like the shit was getting real and we were going to do this thing at home. And in many ways, my internal terror was starting to happen. Well, why? Well, it's because both of my parents, they had long battles of cancer. And so from my, you know, early memories being 10 years old and my mom having that diagnosis of having breast cancer to then becoming her caretaker to then becoming like her, you know, like the entertainer. I remember we would go to the hospital with my brothers and I, and we would just like entertain, uh, my mom just so that she wouldn't feel the effects of like her chemotherapy. And, uh, and, and, and even when she was intubated, um, when she couldn't even speak back then, uh, I don't know what the technology was, but like all we remember was, you know, she was attached to, cause her lungs got really weak at a certain point, And she's just watching us with our keyboards, like making music for her and all of the, all of the nursing staff. So I had visceral, visceral triggers, you guys, about being in the hospital walls. And not only that, three years later, then my dad goes through the same thing while I was like full on teenager. And that was a lot of trauma. Um, and I'm not even gonna get, in, get into losing my brother during that phase as well, uh, my middle brother, DJ, but it was a lot to reconcile and a lot to go through. So yeah, for those of you tuning in for the very first time, I, I lost my mom, my brother, and my dad within a span of four years. I say four years, but really it, it truly happened within three years of my life, but you know, we saw my mom go through this, like from 10 to 19, I was going through some sort of big initiation and loss crazy and wild. And obviously I'm like, there's no way I'm going to go visit that. There's no way I'm going to step foot into a hospital, which is why I'm going to do everything I can to be as healthy as I can to be as, uh, you know, on top of all of this, this birth game with all of the people and all of the support and all of the things that I could possibly imagine for myself. See you next time at the Brave Table.